Hello, this is Paolo. This is my home office where I found myself on March 18, 2020. That was the day when the Malaysian Prime Minister announced the movement control order in response to the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. Challenges? There were many. Business? You bet. Financial? Oh my goodness. The share market was crashing down as though the world was going to end the next day. Not able to see friends, not able to get to work, not able to travel, kind of frustrated me. I was sad, down and depressed like many others. But there's a saying in life that life can only be understood backwards, but it has to be lived forwards. Remember what Robin Williams said in one of his movies, Capidium, Capidium, seize the day. Many of us have forgotten the simple joys of lives, celebrating what we have, rather than what we don't have. His Excellency Thakur Espado, the former Minister of Education, Bhutan, obviously you know that Bhutan is famous for its gross happiness index, suggested we re rename it as Reflections of an Entrepreneur. So here I am with my 16th book, The Reflections of an Entrepreneur. And the book is being published by University of Malaya Press. It's such an honor and a privilege as you know, University of Malaya is Malaysia's oldest university, as well as 59th on the QS international rankings. Here I am in the next few minutes, hoping to share some ideas from the book for you. I found that I had time in abundance during this period. On a normal day, I would come down, have my breakfast, get into the car and speed away to work. But here I was, able to smell the roses in my garden, admire the views, sit down in my living room for a moment and reflect on the past. It's ironical that many said there was nothing much one could do during this time, but I found that there's much that we could do. All of us have points of view, and we articulate these points of view into stories of our life. Stories of our family, stories of our friendship, stories of our relationship, stories of our identity, stories of life. And I think to me, it was important that we articulate these points of view into stories for us to reflect on the past to move to the future. To those entrepreneurs who struggle through this crisis, I just had one thing to reflect upon. I was an entrepreneur by choice, even though I learned about communism in the corridors of the university. I was a great admirer of Lenin, but then I realized that it was not so much about a political dogma. It was about life, the way we wanted life to be. We wanted to make sure the quality of life was good. We wanted to make sure that we cared for people. And that took me finally to politics. Politics, politics, politics. If you ask the 16th President of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln, he had this to say. If you want to test a man's character or a woman's character, give them power and you'll know why. So, they say politics drives economics and economics drives politics. But to us, to anyone, we need just an understanding of politics. It has been a challenging period for the world, for the country, for communities, for most of us. People have lost jobs, people have struggled, people have gone through mental challenges. But the key thing is to remember what Amir Khan said in his famous Indian movie, Three Idiots. He said, all is well, all is well. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay good. Last but not the least, stay happy. Remember Robin Williams, Capidian, seize the day. Thank you for listening. Thank you.